Hey everybody, just wanted to say thank you all so, so much for helping push this channel up to over half a million subscribers, with more of you pouring in every day. It's been a huge thrill to share my work with so many of you over the years, and I hope you'll stick around as I continue to refine my process. So, as a fun way to celebrate this cool new milestone, I thought it might be a fun opportunity to look back, reflect a little, and try to draw my life in less than 24 hours. So yeah, where to start? Well, I was born in Orange County, California, which is basically right here. Now this was all the way back in the analog age of 1979, a strange and mysterious time before the existence of things like cell phones, Super Mario Brothers. Dude, even The Empire Strikes Back didn't exist in 1979. Also, you know, the internet. <laughs> what we did have in 1979 was Sesame Street, The Muppet Movie, and the original Alien. Also, cars with unironic wood paneling for some reason. As a very young kid, I guess I spent a lot of time dressing up, drawing pictures and flip books, and playing my Atari 2600. Also, covered in unironic wood paneling for some reason. And while the graphics were ridiculously simple at the time, it was amazing back then to have a game like Pac-Man in your house. It would also inspire me much, much later to write and direct a live-action Pac-Man film, which I still think would make an awesome movie, but I digress. Anyway, by 1983, I'd scored my very first computer, a Commodore 64, on which I learned to spell, read, and even write simple programs by the time I was four and a half. And by 1985, I had officially moved on to the original Nintendo Entertainment System, which as a five-year-old was officially the most awesome device to have ever existed. I still have my original NES, actually, and I play it whenever I have time, which is never. I also grew up with a dog named Paws, which was a reference to Jaws, who would eventually provide the inspiration for this guy. I also also had two pet ducks, which it turned out should maybe have not been kept in the same yard as the dog. By the time I was seven years old, I was already a huge fan of things like comic books, movies, and video games. Fortunately for me, I already lived in California, where all those awesome things were being made. Cut to 1987, the year my parents decided to move us 1,600 miles away to a town called Owasso, Oklahoma, where instead of being surrounded by actors, artists, and creative professionals, uh, let's see, well, there were tractors, colorful wildlife, and, uh, what else? Oh yeah! The embarrassing cult I was raised in, where my family received its weekly distillation of toxic nonsense. For example, Girls no run things. Holidays is bad. Gainus make invincible sky wizards sad. And my all-time personal favorite, We are not gullible morons. I was also homeschooled during this period, because, you know, the devil and stuff. Anyway, fast forward to college, where I not only got a job and ditched the cult, but taught myself a cool new trick called computer animation. Thanks, Macromedia Flash. May you rest in peace. Aww. By this point, it was 1999, the year of The Matrix, the South Park movie, and as of this recording, still the most epically heart-crushing theater experience of my entire life up to that point. Now this was right about the time I started developing my very first successful pitch for an animated show, which sold to Simpsons producer Film Roman my first year out of college, and then sold again to Studio B Productions, who eventually created this and completely blew my mind. At the age of 21, seeing my idea come to fruition like this was a huge boost of confidence and encouraged me to move forward with another animated idea, which pretty much everybody passed on. So, in 2002, I started producing Zombie the Animated Series all by myself and uploading short little episodes to http colon slash slash www.newgrounds.com A portal for things like flash games, short animations, and other homebrewed content with a front page feature that highlighted the most popular videos of the day. Basically like a prototypical YouTube two whole years before YouTube existed. Lo and behold, by the time I'd reached 10 episodes, Zombie had gained enough popularity to spawn a line of comic books, skateboards, action figures, and a short-lived movie deal with these guys. 
At last, my Hollywood dreams were finally coming to, now, you know what, this happened. Then this happened. Then this happened. Just kidding, this happened instead. Which was great. Fortunately, those two projects that fizzled out lit the spark on dozens more, which over the last 10 years has enabled me to work with some of my all-time favorite people on some of my all-time favorite things. Some from my childhood, some from yours, and some from my own imagination. A fair bit of which I've been able to share with you all here on YouTube. Cut to present day. Where you'll typically find me either writing, animating, or making music right here in my home studio, which in turn exists somewhere in this general vicinity, where I live with my beautiful, wonderful family, who also occasionally show up in some of my videos. All that to say, thank you so, so much for all your encouragement, support, and enthusiasm over the years. Video production can be a lonely job, so it's been a real gift to connect with so many of you each and every day. Extra special shout out to my patrons here. Thank you all so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. And yeah, be well, be happy, be excellent to each other. Here's some links to a few of my favorite animations from the last few years. And I really hope you all enjoy what's next. Thanks for watching, everybody.